the last point that I want to talk about is patience. We need patience. I have this saying, I may have stolen it from someone, but I'm going to say it. Too many people underestimate what they can do in eight weeks, but overestimate what they can do in eight days. And you can insert whatever number of days or weeks or years in that time in that time frame of the quote, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Let's generalize it. Too many people underestimate what they can do in the long term, but overestimate what they can do in the short term. It's it's just so it's just so true and it trips people up. That's why fad diets, crash diets, extreme diets, extremely restrictive diets, that's why they don't work. Because people are overestimating. Oh man, I'm just going to have I'm just going to have 1200 calories for 8 weeks every single day. Oh yeah, how did that work out? <laughs> I lasted a week. Yeah, thought so. Like you need to be patient. That is what leads to to success. Um, you know, if you want to grow a social media following, patience. Just post every day. Show up. Answer people's questions. Provide value. Show up. Show up. Be patient. You be consistent. But then the underlying thing, underneath that consistency, you need to be patient. And I'm not saying you need to just like not care obviously you need to be getting results but you need to be patient because if you're not patient then you're going to get fed up if you're short-term focused you're just going to like oh it's not working like okay when you transition from losing body fat to building muscle this is when a lot of people give up because fat loss is easy it's easy to see it's easy to do and it's easy to to be motivated when you're doing it because you can see results. But when you build muscle, you need a different type of patience because the amount of muscle that people are realistically going to build in about a year is pretty disgraceful. <laughs> like you have to be, like if you're a natural athlete, if you want to build muscle, you have to be super patient. You might build 250 grams, 500 grams of muscle in a year. Do you know how crazy that sounds? <laughs> like no one wants to sign up for that but that's what you have to do you have to be patient you need to think long term as a beginner it's different you're going to get results quick you can build muscle and lose fat at the same time everything's working for you bang 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 you're feeling great whoa i just added a 20 kg plate onto my deadlift from last week and you're feeling incredible but as you get more advanced as you double down on your body transformation things get harder it's harder to lift heavier. It's harder to stick to those lower calories that you need to lose body fat. It's harder to be super consistent, man. I've got a job. I've got kids. I've got a wife. All these things are going on. But if you have this patience and you know that good things take time, then you're going to keep sane throughout this process too. Because a lot of people expect to build muscle in super, super, super short time frames. And then they end up discouraged and then they end up giving up. And then they're the people that say, fitness isn't for me. You know, uh, nah, I don't really do that. Like I tried it, but it doesn't really work. No, it does. You just did it wrong and you had the wrong mindset. So I hope that these six non-fitness related topics, traits, principles inspire you to achieve your body transformation because the amount of education that you have access to is just crazy online. You can listen to a podcast, you can watch a reel, you can watch a YouTube video, and you can understand everything that you need to transform your body. But none of it's going to matter if you can't master these six things. And in, uh, in Team Brock Ashby, my online coaching business, there's workout plans with detailed videos so that the form is nailed. But there's also this educational video section where all of my clients can grow their knowledge. So if you don't want to try and filter through the podcasts and filter through the YouTube videos and filter through everything, you ultimately just need to buy a Team Brock Ashby program and then you get access to any educational video that you want. 
talking about calorie backloading, weekly calorie backloading, which I talked about earlier, talking about uh, sleep, talking about supplements, talking about how to optimize a calorie deficit, how to optimize a calorie surplus if you want to build muscle, how to optimize your nutrition for maintenance. Um, there's myth busting videos on there. There's like a ton of videos, how to stick to a low carb diet. There's all these things that are in there. And then I also have videos of like why not to rely on motivation, um, you know, um, and I have other videos that are more based on lifestyle, like the amount of steps um, and the mindsets that you need to transform your body, all these kind of things. They're kind of like shorter forms of podcasts like these. So if you do sign up to Team Brokashby and you are looking to transform your body, jump on teambrokashby.com, buy a program and you get access to that and you can just watch it whenever you want. I recommend watching a video a day because that helps you continually stay in it, in it to win it um, and you can be successful that way. 